East Eurasians. They're a group of people who may be considered East Asians, North Asians, South Asians, to an extent, Australasians, and Southeast Asians. Their origins stem from modern-day Iran, descending from the initial Upper Paleolithic, or IUP, the Eastern Wave. This was during the time where early European modern human cultures were prevalent, such as the Oryg Nation. They expanded in a star-like fashion, outgoing from today's South Central Asia after they diverged from ancestral West Eurasians, Upper Paleolithic Wave, 45 to 50,000 years ago. Despite the East Eurasians being quite homogenous in terms of genes, they divide into three substructures. Ancient Ancestral Southern Indian, East and Southeast Asia, and Australasians. However, we'll only be discussing about East Southeast Asians. The Eastern Southeast Asian lineage originated in Southeast Asia, and this is the most common East Eurasian group today. According to Yang 2022, the East Southeast Asian lineage is divided into eight categories. Fujian Ancestry, Hoabinian Ancestry, and Guangxi Ancestry. Jomon Ancestry, Yellow River Ancestry, Ancient Tibetan Ancestry, and Tianyuan Ancestry. As we see in this tree mix chart showing the divergence of East and Southeast Asians from other East Eurasian lineages. Initial East Eurasian phenotype was much darker in complexion. The initial Basal East Asian phenotype lives on in the Samang people, an isolated tribe in Southeast Asia. The East and Southeast Asians cluster very tightly with one another, which further proves their shared ancestry with each other. And I quote from the study from Yang 2022. The East and Southeast Asian lineage differentiated into at least three sub-ancestries. Tianyuan ancestry, which can be found 40,000 to 33,000 years ago in Northern East Asia, ancestry found today across present-day populations of East Asia, Southeast Asia, and Siberia, but whose origins are unknown, and Hoabinians, found 8,000 to 4,000 years ago in Southeast Asia, but whose origins in the Upper Paleolithic are unknown. And this is the graph from the study. So the Eastern and Southeast Asians originated in Southeast Asia. However, what's very interesting is that haplogroup N also originated in Southeast Asia during a similar time, which is valuable trivial information that you guys can have. And stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to talk about ancient ancestral South Indians.